Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a radio voice effect in Adobe Audition. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's have a quick sample of what this sounds like. Hey everybody and welcome back to Scoby Tech Radio. This is brought to you on the channel 169.69 FM Radio. Today's video is brought to you by you. So the first thing you need to do to create this is open up Adobe Audition. I need to record something brand new or import an audio track that you would like to use. In this case, I have this audio track right here that I'll just give you a listen. Hey everybody and welcome back to Scoby Tech Radio. Video. This is brought to you on the channel 169.69 FM radio. So that's how it sounds without any effects. What we're going to be doing is adjusting this to create a radio voice effect. So in this case, there is one thing I would suggest doing before actually doing this to any voice effect, and that is removing the background noise. In this case, I'm not going to be doing it in today's video, although I'll be leaving a card on screen. This is if you have a lot of static or background noise in the back of your audio, it is recommended to do this. So what we're going to be doing is selecting our entire audio track by clicking Control and A, or if you're using a multi-track, you can select a single track you would like to effect. From this point, we're going to be clicking on effects on the top left. We're going to be coming to filter and EQ, and we're going to be looking for the parametric equal equalizer right here. Click this open and we'll get this window. And here we're going to be able to adjust an effect to create our radio effect. Thankfully inside addition, we do actually have a preset in here. If we open up the default, we'll have an old time radio right here. If we open this up, we'll already see a bunch of different effects here. What we can do is play back the audio by making sure the screen button is selected, clicking the play button here, and we can hear exactly what it sounds like. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Scoby Tech Radio. This is brought to you on the channel 169.69 FM radio. If you'd like to compare the audio back and forth with the original, all we can do is simply click here to disable the effects and we can preview and turn it back on as we listen. Today's video is brought to you by you. Make sure to donate using the PayPal link in the description, like and subscribe to support this local radio station so we don't go out of business. Really. So I actually like the sound of how this is by default. Although of course you can use any of the points here on the track to adjust it slightly. I'll just bump the back end up a little bit to see how it sounds. Hey everybody and welcome back to Scoby Tech Radio. This is brought to you on the channel 169.69 FM radio. Although of course you can experiment with this if you would like, or you can leave it by default if it sounds good to you. Once you're happy with your effect, we can simply click apply on the bottom right. And most of the time, this is a pretty good effect. Now from this point, you may need to amplify your audio a little bit, depending on how loud or soft it was. But anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to create a radio voice effect in Adobe Audition. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.